27 years old tomorrow, former fifth overall draft pick out of the powerhouse of Vanderbilt. He is having a sensational breakout season. One of the game's great ground ball pitchers. What a big night for Kyle Wright. Brandon Nimmo leads things off for the Mets. On the ground, pass Swanson, and Nimmo is aboard. Alonzo walks. Nimmo goes to second after leading off the game with a base hit. That'll bring up Francisco Lindor. Swing and a miss. Gets him to expand off the plate with the fastball. Out number one. One away, McNeil coming up. Line into right field. Nemo will be held at third. And the Mets early on have him loaded up. Eduardo Escobar coming off a sensational month of September. Ground ball softly chopped. Olsen off the bag. A run scores. Escobar retired. Nemo scores from third. The Mets do get a run to take a one to nothing lead. And now they've got two in scoring position. Vogelback will try to extend that lead. Shot back towards the mound. Easy play for Wright. Wright limits the damage. He allows a run. The Mets strand a pair. And that man, Mad Max, has been given an early one-run lead. That's why the Mets got Max Scherzer. I mean, he is he lives for these games, and he usually delivers. We're in for a treat tonight. And Scherzer making his third start since coming off the engine list with an oblique. This is smoked out to center, but instead, Nimmo flags it down. And Harris, a hard out number three. And Scherzer does get that one, two, three first. Two up and two down. A much crisper start to this inning for Kyle Wright compared to the first inning. Harris comes in. Harris is able to stab it out of midair. He's going to be a good one for a long time. Michael Harris, side retired. Austin Riley to begin things here in the home second inning. Left side and through. It's past Lindor. Riley has the first hit tonight for Atlanta. First runner in scoring position early on tonight for Atlanta. Two men away. Marcelo Zuna will be the batter. As soon as skies this to shallow right field, McNeil drifts out. Naquin makes the catch. Olsen stranded in scoring position. Two innings complete. Here's the left. All right, now he'll start his second time around the Mets batting order as Brandon Nimmo leads off the third. One, two, and a drive out towards center. Harris sprinting back. He's back to the warning track. He will leap in with two hands. Makes the catch. Crashing up against the wall. Michael Harris, smooth as can be. Very simple. That kid is special. He is an outstanding defender in center field and should very well be in gold glove consideration among center fielders this year. Two outs. Now the batter's Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna grounded to second his first time. Dribbles weakly to third base. Escobar. Not in time. Acuna with blazing speed up the first base line here as he pulls off a two out infield hit to keep this inning going for Dansby Swanson. Deep in the hole, and it clicks up Lindor's glove. Acuna pedaling for third. He'll get their standing. The Braves have him on the corners. As Michael Harris bats with two out, two on, the Mets should have been out of the inning. Lindor would have fielded cleanly there. Harris stings this. Nemo cut it across, and Nemo reels it in. And the Mets get out of the third inning with the lead intact. Scherzer slaps his glove and pumps his fist, heading to the dugout as the Mets still lead one to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Mets have the lead. Austin Riley leads off. Stung fair left field. Riley gets into second base with a stand-up double. And the Braves have their leadoff man in scoring position to begin the bottom of the fourth. Matt Olson, the batter now with Riley at second. Ground ball through the left side. Riley's coming home, and Matt Olson has tied this game in the fourth. We got a tie game. Well, here's Travis, runner at first, no one out. Ground ball, Escobar to second, on to first base, and the throw is there in time for the double play. Let's go around the horn behind Scherzer. Tomas Nito, number nine hitting catcher, leads off the fifth inning for the Mets. Swanson to his left, 360, pop up, on to first. Dynamite play. Nice play, Swanson. Two men away. Pete Alonso will be the batter. Ground ball firmly struck out into left field. Alonso is aboard for the second time. His first hit. Yeah, that will bring up Francisco Lindor. Lindor, Harris is in front of him. Lindor got himself a multi hit night with two outs. Mets continue to apply the pressure. The Mets have runners at first and second, two out. And the cleanup hitter, Jeff McNeil, will be the batter. Into left field. Alonzo is coming around third base, and of course, McNeil gets another hit. He has put the Mets in front here in the fifth inning. How do you pitch to this guy? It's a 2-1 Mets lead. Three straight hits here, and now a chance for Escobar to make it four. 
Ground ball to the point of the shift. Routine play there for out number three. Jeff McNeil, the final of three straight two out hits, and he has given the Mets the lead. Ronald Acuna Jr. had an infield hit his last time up. A check swing. Could this work? Is this going to be fair? <laughs> Acuna takes a wide turn, throws it in reverse. A little check swing flare right near the right field line. Thing of beauty. A base runner that Scherzer is going to really have to pay attention to here. I'm Dansby. I'm looking middle of the plate away and just try to put the ball in play. Driven to left center field and deep. Nimmo going back. He pulls up. He watches it sail out of here. Home run, Swanson. He took the Grom deep last night. And tonight, he tags Scherzer over the wall. Three to two, Atlanta. And Matt Olson will lead off the inning. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Matt Olson heads up in the chop house. Gone. Home run. 32nd homer. 98th RBI for Olson. And the Braves' lead is four to two. Three hit night for Acuna. His speed is aboard. It's been a big series so far for Dansby Swanson. Ground ball snared. Alonzo. Steps on first, and Acuna, Lindor. Now Acuna, of course, has the knee issue, but that's Nito over at first base. He drops the shin guards down. Now Acuna is out. Kenley Jansen will come on after Iglesias had a brilliant inning. Kenley will face the bottom third of their order. It's set up perfectly. 0-2 pitch on the way. Got him, swing and strike three. One down here in the ninth. Three pitches, takes care of Mark Canna. Some nervous moments. This is just one batter gets on, tying runs at the plate. Round ball, weekly hit out to second. Arcia has it, up with it, to first base, two down. And the Mets are down to their last out. So Kenley has gotten two outs on seven pitches. And here comes Luis Guillorme. 42,561, they're all standing. They're looking for one more out as the Braves are looking to take a one game lead in the division. Kenley has got the Mets dangling by a thread with two down here in the top of the ninth inning. Pitch on the way. Got him swinging strike three. And the Braves beat the Mets again. Braves win it four to two. They once again overpower the Mets with their work on the mound. And they've taken down Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer in the first two games of this enormous series. Atlanta now with a one-game lead in the division. They'll go for a sweep tomorrow. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.